I'm going to be showing you all 10 of the brand new LEGO Star Wars sets releasing in May, and I think this is the best Star Wars wave we've gotten in a long time, so let's talk about them. First up is the May 4th promo, which this year is just going to be a simple Battle of Yavin style coin, reminiscent of the Death Star coin we got as last year's promo. And for $4.99, we'll also be getting this mini tie interceptor. It's a small little build with only 48 pieces, but overall I think it's a pretty decent set for a poly bag. Next up is the Phantom Menace Brickheads. This is a very interesting set that consists of six different brickheads based on characters from the Phantom Menace, including Jar Jar, Anakin Skywalker, Queen Amidala, Captain Panica, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul. It's cool to see LEGO doing a combo set like this, and it makes me wonder if we'll see more of these Brickheads combo style sets for other Star Wars movies as well. We'll also be getting the Borg Speeder Escape set with Grogu, Keller and Beck, and two 501st Troopers. It's a pretty simple set, but an interesting one to see as we haven't ever gotten many sets on the events surrounding Order 66, so hopefully we'll get more like this in the future. This next one is honestly one of the sets I'm most excited to buy in May, and that is the UCS Buildable Droidica. It's overall a very detailed set where you can see all the wires and details on it, which makes it very accurate to the ones seen in Star Wars. It also even comes with a mini Droidica for comparison. I think this next set will go down in history as one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets made, and that is Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. It has Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, Anakin Skywalker, as well as the exclusive Saw Gerrera minifigure. It just looks like a really awesome set and I can't wait to buy it. Going back to Brickheads, we will also be getting one more LEGO Star Wars Brickhead in this release, and that is Commander Cody which to be honest is a cool one to see LEGO make. Especially at $10, I think this is a great deal if you like Star Wars Brickheads. But before we move on to the next set, do you like free LEGO? Well, if you do, be sure to check out Rakuten. They're a cashback program that gives you cash back for shopping at your favorite sites like LEGO, Target, or Walmart. And the best thing about it is it is just a browser extension so you don't have to do any extra work and it will automatically give you cash back on your purchases via check or PayPal. And I don't know about you, but it's sure nice to get money back on all the LEGO sets that I buy. And not only that, but if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get $30 back after spending $30 while using the extension. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Not only will we be getting a TIE Interceptor poly bag, but we are also getting a UCS one. It will be $240 and have just under 2,000 pieces. And to be honest, I think this is a very boring UCS set as it only comes with one minifigure and just overall seems like a tedious build. LEGO is also adding another set to the line of dioramas, and this one is the Moss Espa Pod Race. It actually looks like a decent set with two small pod racers built in a desert-like setting. I personally really like these diorama sets and I think this one will be a great addition to that line. This next one is a gift with purchase of $160 or more, and is probably one of the most hyped sets on this list. The Trade Federation Troop Carrier will come with 8 battle droids, including 2 pilots. It also has this cool little carrier build with guns and an area for the droids to fold up. And those are all of the sets releasing this May. However, if you want to see more sets releasing later in the year, watch this video here.